welcome to MOFA News, your most reliable source of Korean public diplomacy news. I'm Chun Shin Hae from MOFA. Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs Choi Jong Moon attended the G20 Foreign Affairs and Development Ministers meeting held from June 29 to 30 in Matera and Brindish, Italy. Participants at the Foreign Affairs Ministers meeting focused on how to strengthen multilateralism and global governance in health, climate change, trade and investment. In order to recover better from the COVID-19 pandemic and discuss the G20's contribution to sustainable development in Africa, Vice Minister stressed results-oriented follow-up mechanisms of G20 should be strengthened to move forward outcomes made, bolster regional cooperation and coordination, and expand cooperation between like-minded stakeholders, including the private sector, to consolidate a global response to challenges such as climate change. He further explained that Korea is promoting the Northeast Asia Cooperation Initiative for Infectious Disease Control and Public Health as part of efforts to strengthen regional cooperation, and mentioned that Korea hosted the P4G Summit to promote public-private partnerships in promoting green growth. In addition, Vice Minister Che emphasized the importance of increasing the G20 contribution to health, trade, and digital technology while respecting the ownership of Africa. He also explained that the Korean government provided $200 million worth of health assistance to support Africa's response to COVID-19. At the Joint Foreign and Development Ministers' meeting, Vice Minister Che underscored that unjustifiable restrictive measures on food trade should not be imposed and highlighted the importance of tackling climate change in areas of agriculture and food systems. He also explained Korea's plans to expand green ODA and emphasized the need to resolve conflicts which account for the largest share of food insecurity. He also stressed the importance of coordination with various stakeholders, including the private sector and civil society, to address food insecurity, and announced that the Korean government will positively consider joining the Food Coalition. Meanwhile, Vice Minister Che mentioned at the Development Minister's meeting the importance of mobilizing private financing, such as through the Green Bond and sharing knowledge among cities. Moreover, he explained that Korea will share the experience of CityNet's activities with the G20. The Korean government will implement the outcomes of the G20 Foreign and Development Ministers meeting and make continued effort to support the G20's efforts to address key global challenges. And this is MOFA News. Thank you.